Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Tweak here and today I'm going to show you guys how I made a ton of money using the flea market in the EFT early game. So the whole meta for making money in Tarkov has completely shifted this patch. It's completely changed. Um, the speed that you can acquire money this wipe is absolutely insane. It's unlike anything we'd ever seen before. This completely changes the whole loot economy. It changes the value of almost everything you pick up in a raid because pretty much everything you pick up will have a value tied to it, whether it be quest items or it be items you need yourself or, you know, items that you've already collected and can just sell on to somebody else. Like, for example, these packets of cigarettes here, I've already done the tasks, but I can go ahead and sell these packets of cigarettes for like 50k a pop on the auction house. Um, this means that all of these items at the moment aren't just junk anymore. Same goes for this bleach, this condensed milk I've been collecting, the fuel conditioners I've been collecting. Uh, what else do I have in here? I'm keeping these bitcoins for other stuff. But like this scope here, the Night Force scope, uh, shamaskas, gunpowders, GM counters uh, for valves and stuff like that are going to hold more value. Um, like the glasses, uh, all, anything that's tied to a quest early on in this wipe, you want to be selling it if you don't need it yourself. You need to sell it as quick as you can. The early game for EFT right now is all about trying to get as many quest items as you possibly can that other people need and sell them. So what I did yesterday to make all my money was I rushed to get Salawas unlocked. As soon as I got Salawas unlocked, I bought like 500 of them, probably more than 500 over the course of the night. Bought them each for like 7,500 rubles. Sold them all for 25,000 rubles. There wasn't too many other people doing it uh, last night. So I ended up making a fortune on it. So if we go here and we go to uh, Salawa. We will see that the prices have dropped significantly. So you can see already from yesterday. They're already selling for less than half of what I was selling them for yesterday. Because people are catching up. Um, what I did today was... I found that the hammer scope and this pistol grip um, from Peacekeeper was required for one of the gunsmith tasks. So I've had these slowly selling all day. I've only sold about 20 of them so far. And there goes another one. Uh, so I'm hoping by the time I wake up tomorrow, all these will be sold. When all of these are sold, I'll have made $150,000. Um, as for rubles, I'm quite low on rubles right now because I bought a ton of keys earlier that I needed for tasks and a bunch of other task items. As you can see, let's go back to my character here. As far as tasks go, I'm on Gunsmith Part 12. Uh, we've got... Oh my god, we've got so much stuff done. We're, we're really on like the home stretch. Another probably good day of doing tasks. And I'll have pretty much everything done besides this health level 7 thing that's going to take me six months to finish. Um, but yeah, my advice to you guys to make tons of money. Your keys. If you guys want to make a... Sh just a ridiculous amount of money farm your shoreline keys i'll just show you i'll just give you an example here let's let's go 310 east 310 east key is selling for a minimum of 280k right now uh let's see uh 206 dorm room 206 key fairly common key selling for about 10k uh what's that other key is it 216 or is it was it 220 west wing 220 this is selling for a ridiculous amount of money. Um, also, for anybody out there that wants to go waste an entire couple of days farming Kiba keys, two and a half mil plus. I don't know how many people are actually buying them, um, but there you go. Also, let me think real quickly. Uh, condensed milk right now. Condensed milk's in a weird place. So they're they're up and down. Even since yesterday, they're up and down. So sometimes. You know, they're up as high as 100k. Sometimes they're down kind of low here. It's kind of late in the U right now. So another thing that you guys can do. Once you make your first initial pile of cash, I could potentially go through here, buy out all of these offers and then set my own price for them. So it's like complete like market manipulation. If you have the money to do that, you will never have to worry about making money again on this game because once you start doing stuff like that and you set the prices for certain things, the income of these items into the market isn't going to be outweighing what you're going to be taking away from it. Um, so I would suggest if you guys can find some items yourself, 
maybe not necessarily condensed milk. Maybe it is condensed milk that you want to do. Uh, I would highly suggest doing that. Um, other rare items such as bitcoins. I'd suggest you keep them for weapons cases, but if you just want to sell them, they're selling for more than their price to therapist right now. I think they're selling for about 150k. Um, but yeah, you guys, the most important thing I can tell you, all the junk items from last patch that you think have no place anymore are all of a sudden worth a lot more money in your in your bag like little shitty junk items that you might not think about that do now trade for quest items and stuff like that are going to be worth a lot more money so that's pretty much it for the moment uh i just wanted to show you guys what i had been doing to make some money and all my money is basically in all of these scopes right now i converted most of my rubles to dollars yesterday um, and then these grips here. So these are kind of selling hand in hand. Um, once I get therapist up to level four, I will probably start trying to do morphines. But I, all I can say to you guys is that it doesn't matter if you're getting up to... If you're not level 40 by the end of the week or you don't have the high level traders unlocked. What I can say to you is this list here, there is so much opportunity in here for you to catch items that people are selling for cheaper it's all about learning how much the items are worth and it's it's super volatile at the moment so you're probably gonna get cut a couple of times trying to buy and sell things back into the market for more than what you paid for them but it is worth a shot you will make a ton of money you learn how to use the flea market you will never ever ever have to worry about money in eft again all you gotta do go in figure out the trends figure out what items are in high demand figure out what items are in low demand if you find some item that's in huge demand, but there's a low supply of it, if you can go farm some of that, you can overcharge the hell for it. You, you, can, just, you can overcharge. You, you can set the price to whatever you want and people will still buy it if they're having a hard enough time finding it themselves. Or if they're just too lazy to go out and farm it like me. That's where I wasted all my money buying quest items today because I'm trying to get to level 40. But yeah, that is it. What I will just say to you guys, learn the flea market. If you're one of these players that's always broke on EFT and you just can't catch a break, you can't get a good raid in and make some money, learn the flea market. Just between scav runs, play with the flea market, buy and sell stuff, you know, little bit by little bit. It doesn't have to be huge sales. It adds up a lot over time. This is very similar to what people do in, let's say, for example, RuneScape and World of Warcraft. There are people on those games that just play the the flea markets on there, the, the grand exchanges, the auction houses. There are people that play those games solely just for those and, you know, manipulating the market. Um, and the same can be said for EFT. It's going to be volatile for the next two weeks, so right now is probably the best time to get in here and just start sniping and grabbing things and selling things for more than what people would normally rationally pay for them. But yeah, that, that's my advice to you guys. Learn the flea market. Look for opportunities farm things that are in huge demand but in low supply and yeah you will be absolutely loaded in no time so guys i hope you're all enjoying the patch i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did like the video make sure to leave a like hit the subscribe button and hit that fucking bell thing or whatever i don't know i hear all the other youtubers saying it in their videos but i am live every day from 8 p.m uk time until whatever time of the morning show goes to bed and i, I follow her in um at twitch.tv slash tweak There'll be links to my Twitch channel in the description. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment. If you guys have any ideas for any uh, future videos you'd like me to make, leave a comment. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So guys, best of luck with the wipe and good luck with the flea market. If you guys have any huge successes with it, I'd love to hear about it. So yeah, till the next video, guys. I will see y'all later.